Welcome to the United States Mission in Geneva. The United States Mission is the largest overseas multilateral diplomatic post of the United States, and we represent the United States to all the UN agencies here and over 150 diplomatic missions of foreign governments. Today is a very exciting day for us because today we're taking delivery and beginning installation of our magnetic levitation chiller. This is going to be one of the hallmarks of our efforts to make this mission the greenest diplomatic representation overseas of any country in the world. As you can see, we already have a solar panel array on our mission that provides 30% of all of our electricity for everything we do and all the work we do here in Geneva. And today we're installing the highest technology magnetic levitation chiller, which will spin at 60,000 revolutions per minute without any friction to cool this building in the most efficient way. We're looking forward to finding ways to make U.S. buildings abroad the greenest possible facilities in the world. And this building is going to be the best. The magnetic levitation chiller that was delivered to side is actually in two separate containers, two separate trucks. So therefore, in order to install it, we're going to remove the blue container right now. We're going to set it on the ground. Once the blue container is on the ground, the truck is going to go ahead and leave to pick up the second portion of the container. As the second portion of the container arrives, what we'll end up doing is individually unload each container and start setting them into the concrete enclosure area. The concrete enclosure area, the one that's behind you, we've lifted it and we've prepared it and we've worked the flooring so it will accommodate the new chiller that's going to be installed inside there. You'll notice by seeing the silver louvers that are installed up on top that we had to elevate the enclosure itself to accommodate the size because the chiller is actually taller evaporators that were in the enclosure before. 